Hello and welcome to Tensile Ground Coffee. A few minutes on ground engineering to enjoy while having your coffee. Continuing on with the Ask Andrew season, we've just had a question in. It's from Sandy, Sandy Gravel, and she asks, what is a sinkhole? What a brilliant question, Sandy. Thank you very much. I mean, we all know about sinkholes, uh, even if you're not in ground engineering. Um, potentially dangerous, unfortunately, some people are actually killed by sinkholes. They're quite scary. The ground opening up, uh, holes appearing uh, where there was solid ground. Uh, so um, what, uh, what causes them? So they occur in karst terrain. Karst terrain is name given to uh, a type of rock that uh, dissolves uh, naturally from groundwater uh, passing through it. So that could be uh, carbonate rocks such as uh, limestone and dolomite, uh, could be salt deposits, could be gypsum, could even be sandstone if the cementation between the sand grains is of a carbonate material. It occurs because rainwater absorbs carbon dioxide uh, from the atmosphere and then from the soil as it percolates through and that generates a weak carbonic acid. And as that gets into the uh, fractures and the joints of the rock, uh, the carbonate leaches out and that is taken away. Slowly the rock is dissolved and voids are generated. So large voids can generate underground unseen because there's a layer of soil, uh, more recent deposits, over the top of, the, of the, uh, dis the, the rock that is dissolving. So slowly these holes can develop, but the soil above spans over the hole. But a sinkhole happens as a rapid event when uh, the soil can no longer support its self weight and span this hole underneath. So that's when it collapses. And it often happens as a sudden event because there's some trigger mechanism that is often uh, lots of rainfall. So the soil gets uh, wet, it gets heavier, it loses strength, it loses the ability to span over the void, and then it will collapse suddenly. And that can cause disruption to infrastructure. So that's why we're standing here uh, next to a major highway in South Africa, an area that is prone, a country that is prone in many areas to uh, solution features. They've had to close two lanes here because over here right next to us, if you have a look down there, Brian, here is a solution feature that formed uh, fairly recently during the, the wet uh, summer period here. So that looks like it's about 10 meters deep. We can't see the, uh, the dolomite underneath, but all we can see is the the brown soil that was overlying the solution feature and which uh, lost the ability to span the feature when it got wet, so it collapsed. And if you come back here next to the road, Brian, you see it's starting to undermine the road. So solution features, uh, not uh, sinkholes rather, can uh, spread, uh, particularly in wet weather, you get more collapses. So we don't want the road to be undermined, so we need to close these lanes, it disrupts infrastructure. Uh, this needs to be repaired, it needs to be filled, maybe grouted up to try and prevent it uh, from spreading. But although they appear to happen as rapid events, sometimes there are precursors to them. You will get subsidence that develops that you might not detect with the naked eye. Uh, perhaps a uh, satellite uh, SAR data using INSAR could uh, detect some precursors. Or if there are buildings on there, you might start to see cracks uh, developing. So they don't always happen uh, entirely uh, uh, suddenly. I hope that answers your question, Sandy. What is a sinkhole from a real sinkhole against, uh, next to a major highway in South Africa? So that's all for this episode of Tensile Ground Coffee. Thanks for watching and see you next time.